Hey, Jackie. You hit right away. Yeah, right away. Not, not really right away. <laughs> All right, Ruby. Yes, we're okay. Uh, Ruby, you worked with the legendary Louis Armstrong. Have you got some wonderful anecdotes or tales to tell us about a couple of the gigs? Well, I only worked with him a couple of times on the uh, time. Started again. I worked with Louis. Sorry yes. Ready to go. I worked with Lewis on the Timex show, and um, I opened a show for him someplace at one point. But I never worked with Lewis, you know. I mean, uh, I just worked for so that I could have money to go and hear Lewis. <laughs> that's that's the idea of it. Louis influenced your playing. Lewis influenced my playing and everybody's playing, singing and dancing and writing and whistling on this planet. He did everything. He actually brought us a new life of music that's lasted from then till eternity, hopefully, you know. How do you consider uh, Louis when you think of Bix and when you think of Bunny Berrigan and the other grades? Well, they're, a, they're all just pupils off of a, one branch of his tree, you know. Uh, when you think of all the different stylists, different instrumentalists, whether it's Errol Garner, Basie, Duke, everybody's just off of one of those branches of the great Louis Armstrong tree. They're all his pupils. Bing Crosby, Billy Holiday, that's everybody. Everybody. And was Louis well thought of in the industry? Was he? What the man was he? You knew him on a one-to-one -one basis. He was a marvelous guy. He was a great host, and he loved to tell very funny stories, and he loved acting them out, especially. And I used to. <laughs> he used to always ask me, "Did I tell you this one before?" And I'd say, "No," because I wanted him to go through this whole thing again and he'd get on the floor and be the, be the lion and, and the elephant and do all the, this whole thing and then he looked up and said I got a funny feeling I'm down here for nothing didn't I once tell you this and I say no no I've never heard this one before Louis, you know but I'd get him to do it several he's a what very few people knew that he was perhaps one of the greatest actors in the world great actor think of what it takes to do a two-minute record the light goes on action and he goes into a whole story, does a whole opera right in front of you, and two of it warms up, jokes, laughs, sings, whole story in two and a half minutes. No actor on planet Earth can do anything that fast. Never. Ruby, do you remember when he passed away? Do you remember what feelings you may have had? Well, naturally it was sad to know that you weren't going to see him again in person. But we have his music uh, with us, you know, forever. So uh, I hear him every day anyway, you know. It's, it's, I just miss talking with him and having fun with him and having him give me some cherry herring, one of his funny little drinks that he used to, used to bring, and, and beer and wine. Just one of the greatest uh, geniuses of all times, and we were very, very lucky to be in his time space, you know, and know him. Him and Duke Ellington, I guess, were the two most important, greatest uh, artists and musicians I've ever known. And I'm very happy that they took the, this wonderful uh, uh, Wynton Marsalis who goes around the world telling people about these great traditions of jazz and plugging Lewis and he just makes all these young people become aware of, of the great things that happened so that they'll know something It's not just be ignorant, uh, you know, hear rock and all this stuff, you know. He's a wonderful kid and a great artist and he should be given tremendous credit for what he does everywhere, you know. Very special. Thank you, Ruby. You're Good. welcome. Got Thanks you. very Good. much.